Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Maranga Namo Namaha. Okay, so we're gonna get into some new hand practices that are using some of the things that we've um, gone over before. Is you know, Maranga is kind of not repetitive, but it, it builds upon techniques that you've learned previously. So you have to get those techniques first in order to integrate them into these new mantras. And if you don't take the time to learn them, then you just can't kind of continue on in Murdanga, unfortunately. You just end up kind of in a, in a very basic framework and not able to expand on that. So I'm not going to explain some of the things that we've obviously covered before. You can go through and look at those videos. <laughs> But um, these are kind of learning to use more advanced hand techniques um, in a kirtan setting here as uh, foundational mantras that can be used. And you can make, you know, foundational mantras. You can use them for double speed. You can use them as dihas, lots of different things. So what we're going to look at here is uh, we learned this before. Ger Ge Day, right? Space, right? So it's Gerga Day Dagurugar, two spaces there. Gerga Day, Gerga Day, and then the Dagurugar is on the offbeat of the second mantra there. Gerga Day Dagurugar, Gerga Day Dagurugar, Gerga Day Dagurugar, Gerga Day Dagurugar, Gerga Day Dagurugar. So that's the pronunciation. So the gerga is on one and the da is on the offbeat of the second um, matcha there. So let's see how this plays. So again, we learned this before, right? The gay is strong and then just the top end te is strong and the gay is weak on that last day. right? this already the gay is strong first one te is strong on the last but the gay is soft so this is closed then the second part da open because you've got that space you've only got gudugur takes up the two and da is one and you've got a space for one two three four so let's see that slow. So let's do the lagu as well. So the lagu is different. It's ker ke ta instead of ka. It's not ka, it's just ta and then ka. So you've got ker ke te ta ker ke ta, ker ke ta ta ker ke te ta Instead of day, you've got ta. 
Hare I guess a little bit more stuff going on so that would be something that you could use it like that but normally you use the longer versions when it's slower and then as it gets faster you start to break it down into just smaller pieces which are easier to handle but it, it works all different ways it depends on um, the speed and you know what you want the mood to be do you want it to be shorter and more staccato do you want the mantra to kind of how is the singer singing? Are they singing um, extended and longer? So that you want the mantra to feel longer as well. Lots of different considerations. So how do we extend this? So then you go, Gerge de Dagudagur, Kerke ta Kakudagur. So that's what we have. So now extending out the guru, Gerge de Dagudagur, Gerge de Dagudagur, Gerge, 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 Gerge. So this is that piece that we learned a few months ago is this hand practice ger 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 and we're combining it with this first part so now we've got this whole complex mantra that's really fun to play so let's see here so we have ger 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 You could combine this into the first part, Hari Krishna, then play Gerga Deida Guru Kerkita Kakudukur as your Hari Rama part with the Gerga Deida Guru Gadeya for 64 Matra Dihai. So many ways that you can use these. You have to harness the power of these mantras so that during the Kirtan you can um, put these together and, and feel confident that you know what you're doing and that, uh, you know, you just, you just let it flow and, and see how you feel. and there's no right or wrong answers to how these things should go. So, Let's see. 
always modifying and fixing these things so that they make more sense. Right, so care could care is care 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 So it's kina tera kina kina tera kina trike trike. Right, we went over this again. Trike trike. Kina tera kina kina tera kina trike. Kerkeita. Go back to the previous video. I explain all that. We don't have time to go over that whole mantra again. So we have kerkeita. Lots of this mantra, the te is strong and the ka care ka care care. Care ka care ka care care ka care care ka care ka care ka care ka care ka care ka care So you have to get that as well. Care ka care ka care and then again that ka is on the off beat. So you have to get used to that. So let's look at this again. So you really want to get the Because that ka and da are on the offbeat, so it's really nice to emphasize those. So the second part just kind of flows through. There's nothing super emphasized except that. So it emphasizes that ka. So that's that part. Um, let's see here. Gerge de dagudiger, kerke ta kakudiger. Gerge de dagudiger. Then extending. Right? So you can just use that as well. Hare Okay, so now different phrasing of this again. So at the first part we have Gerge de da Gudiger. Now we have Gerge de Gerge de. So now we're extending the gay instead of the day. Very kind of, you would never 
pick these things up. Um, and it's interesting because we're not discussing musical notes. So it, it, Western music here, um, you know, they would have musical notes and they would show the um, triplets and doublets and how many as well for the Laya Jati. But they're written out and you can see it and it's in staff notation. You can understand what's going on if you read the music. Here, we don't exactly have notes. You have um, bowls or things that you're saying. And when you say gare, you actually have a certain number of musical notes within that. So the laya jati is constantly kind of changing. And if you're not aware of that, um, you might not stay in tall. So it, it's interesting because maintaining tall when you have um, bowls and mantras is quite difficult when it's not written out correctly for someone to read. You might be able to pick it up. I think the whole point of the bowls are so maybe people are able to learn without so much intelligent thinking because speaking the bowls will help your hands kind of find that pattern without knowing what the, the tall structure actually is. But if you really go through and, and look at things and then write it out so that you've got the right spacing and stalls and stuff, it's quite interesting. You know, here we've got gerge, gerge de, and now we have gerge de, gerge de, gerge da, 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 da. So it's all very kind of subtle, but big differences, you know? So the first mantra that we're looking at there, we have gerge de, da, 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 da. Now we have so totally different because you're stalling on the gut now. Very interesting mantra. Let's hear it again. Now it's hard to play because you have to be playing quicker in order for the um, gerga to kind of extend properly. You know, these are not single speed mantras, so they always need to be played in double speed and at quite a decent pace. <laughs> Now again, we're reversing. So before, we had kerke ta kakudukur, so the ta. So we're going kerke ta kakudukur. Now we've got kerke ka kerke ka kerke ta. So the first two have that ta, and then we're back to the original phrasing kerke ta kakudukur. So kerke ta kerke ta kerke ta. How do we chant with this? Hare Krishna. Let me see. Hare Krishna. with the dihai and the uh, mantra that we're learning here for this also all these are beautiful 64 mantra dihai is so much that you can do with them 
they're also great for foundational mantras as well if the kirtanier wants to kind of do some all ups and just play around you don't want a real strong driving beat and you just want to have fun with the kirtan for a while this will kind of lighten things up a bit and um and just be a little bit more airy so you've got you know the masculine and the feminine energies and this style of playing is very much on the feminine side as uh B. McCarmy really likes to explain these differences. And if you look at Bob Blue and a lot of what he's interested in and how he teaches people, it's it's mostly um, feminine energy and mostly lacking structure and, and you know, foundation. And, and a lot of the manches and dehys are, are very kind of expansive and flowery and a lot of four fingers and thumb and stuff like that. And that's completely um, perfect. But you also need that masculine energy to kind of bring that down. And when you have too much of the feminine mantras like these, um, and a lot of the stuff, I mean, not that people can play these, but just in general, um, the Kirtan is a lot more feminine energy in Iskon because it's been driven by Bablu Prabhu. And there's not enough um, foundation and structure to provide a, a cohesive experience for Krishna when you're doing kirtan so we have to be mindful of when to use these and where and how to use them not to overuse them and also bring it back to those foundational mantras that we'll learn later in kirtan so everything has its it has its purpose and its place it's not that just because you can play it you should play it all the time or use it whenever or show off and stuff like that you have to get familiar with with um which side of the coin the kirtan needs to be on more foundational and rigid or a little bit more flamboyant and feminine and more got mantras compositional four fingers or more fingering i would say once you get better a lot of people really enjoy the more rigid foundational um, fingering mantras and stuff that we'll get into later just depends who you're playing with as well so once more, let's go over the phrasing. Gerge de gerge de gerge da da guru guru gerge ka gerge ka gerge ta ka guru gerge de gerge de gerge da da guru gerge ka gerge ka gerge ta ka guru guru. Um. Okay. So a couple more here. So I already showed this one. I just wrote it again here. I didn't realize because I actually. So we have the again the gear gay day da guruka care gay ta ka guruka. So we already went over that. So there's just one last one here. So this is gear gay gear gear gay. Let me see. Gear. Maybe it should be like that. Gear gay gear. Yeah. I had it written with the space at the end. But I actually want to extend the gear, I believe, for the phrasing. It's it's difficult because these have not been given to anyone with any particular tall and phrasing. And it's a little bit, you know, takes some time to really hear how all the bowls are coming together and how it should be. So I'm gonna go gear ga gear ga gear ga gear ga da da guru care ka care ka care ka ta ka guru. So you're extending um, here we've got just three hits. So we've got gear and a space and gus. So this allows you to play quicker because you're kind of playing Elijah Jati of Tisra, but you're still in, um, you know, we're not really playing Tisra Jati because you still have four spots, but you're just leaving one empty. So it's easier for you to play. Different from switching into a pure one, two, three, one, two, three. We're still in one, two, three, four, but we're only playing gear, ga, and we don't have another hit there, like a da or something, to fill that four spot. So going gear, ga gear, ga gear, ga da, da gudu go gear, ka gear, ka gear, ka ta, ka gudu go gear, ga gear, ga gear, ga da, da gudu go gear, ka gear, ka gear, ka ta, ka gudu go. So let's see, gina pere gina re gear ga gear. 
I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the space still. Yeah, I still agree. Sorry for doing this on camera, but I, I still agree actually with myself that the it, it's tough to see where the space, but I believe the space is at the end of the Ganatelegena because you're coming in, you're, there's that little space between the Gerga, 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 Da, Da, Guru. I'm switching it back. I think the space is between the the gear and the gay. Anyone disagrees, they can let me know, but you're extending the gear. Gear, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, da, ga, ga, ga. The space isn't added. It's not gear, ga, gear, ga. So we got gear, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, da, da, ga, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, ta, ta, ga, ga. So that's it. Phrasing again. Gear, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, da, da, ga, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, ta, ka, ga, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, da, da, ga, ga. See that da's on the the first the gear. Gear, ga, gear, so the gear and the gear are on the beat. Gear, ga, gear, ga, gear, so all three gears. Gear, ga, gear, ga, gear, ga, da, da, ga, da, gear. And then that da's on the off beat. So this is not played um, like at a slower speed because when it's too slow, this is meant for when you can't play the gear ga da da gu gu gear ga da gear ga da. When it's getting too quick for that, you can switch into this as a last gear of the mantra. But it only works because when it's too slow, there's not enough mantra to to make it sound nice. So it needs to be quite quick so that that spacing but that you're extending the gear is not too long, else it starts to sound a bit strange. So like you're going gear ga da da gear ga da da. So we'll go over these um, a little bit in the next video again, just for fun, just to go over them, um, show how you can use a little bit more of these with dehys, and then we'll continue on. There's a lot to cover as usual. All right, Hare Krishna, thanks for watching.